Hello, my dear students. We're gonna start 8.6, which is talking about gene expression and regulation. First of all, we should know what the meaning of gene expression. Gene expression means formation of a protein from a DNA sequence or a gene. So how can this protein uh, be formed? By number one, transcription, number two, translation. So there are two processes that are included in gene expression. What are those two processes? Transcription and translation. So my question now, do you think that gene expression is always uh, continuous in all our cells? What does it mean? It means that, do you think that the cell keeps on forming a certain protein all the time, all the time, or there is regulation? What if you don't need this enzyme in your body? What if you have sufficient amount of this enzyme in your body? Why should the cell consume energy and nutrients to form this enzyme if you don't need it? If the cell doesn't need it? So, of course, there should be regulation for the gene expression, regulation for the formation of proteins. The proteins uh, are not forming all the time, but according to the cell need. So, again, what's gene expression? It's the transcription and translation of the gene, and it should be carefully regulated, regulated only in prokaryotic cell or in eukaryotic cell, or in both? Actually, in both. Let's remember together what the difference between prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Prokaryotic cell is the cell that doesn't have nucleus. Eukaryotic cell is the cell that has nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. Let's talk about prokaryotic cells and how do prokaryotic cells regulate the gene expression? They regulate the gene expression mainly by regulation of transcription. Let's have a look at the formation of or, or at the DNA of the prokaryotic cell. Look here at this DNA segment. This DNA segment composed of part of DNA which is called the promoter, second part of DNA is called operator, and after that the coded part of the DNA for the enzyme, for the gene. This is the coded part which is the gene. So this is the part that will be translated to form enzymes or proteins. What about the promoter and the operator? The promoter is the part of DNA that, is at, that attaches to the RNA polymerase to start transcription. So, as you know, the function of RNA polymerase is to, trans, to, to make transcription or to form mRNA by using the DNA as a template. The second part of DNA is called operator. This operator, it acts like a door. If it's blocked by a repressor, it will prevent the RNA polymerase from transcription. If there is no repressor like here, in this case, the operator or the gate is opened for the RNA polymerase to complete transcription. So in which case, is the gene expression on, of course, here. If there is no repressor on the operator, it means that the gene expression is going on or the transcription is going on. If there is a repressor, in this case, the RNA polymerase is blocked and the gene expression or transcription is blocked. This regarding to the regulation of gene expression and this structure is called operon so the operon composed of promoter operator plus genes for the proteins 
whether the, those proteins enzymes or any other proteins promoter operator and genes all together to form this structure which is called operon this operon is called lac operon because this operon for the genes for formation of an enzyme that digests lactose lactose okay that's why it's called lac operon the function of lac operon it has the genes for formation of enzymes that digest lactose so do you think the repressor should present or the repressor should block the uh, uh, transcription process if there is lactose in the medium or if there is no lactose of course if there is no lactose the repressor will will bind to the operator because there is no need for the enzymes that digest lactose if there is no lactose if there is lactose the lactose will bind to the repressor to get it away from the operator to let the rna polymerase to complete transcription once it's completed its transcription the enzymes for digestion of lactose will form this regarding to the lac operon lac operon so lac operon is an example of operon again prokaryotic cells turn genes on and off how by controlling transcription transcription by controlling transcription through a structure called operon what's operon operon composed of promoter the promoter is a dna segment that allows a gene to be transcribed because this is the part that attaches to the rna polymerase to start transcription after that an operator and this is the part that controls the turning on or off of the gene plus the genes that code for the proteins and as i told you operons are most common in prokaryotes and lac operon is one example why is it called lac because it's the operon for genes that form enzymes to digest lactose the lac operon has three genes that codes for that code for enzymes 